If you're a live streamer using Ecamm Live, in the past, whenever you wanted to have a nice graphic overlay with a transparent background, you had to do it without sound. If you wanted a file to have both the background transparency and sound, you had to kind of jerry-rig the process because the Apple ProRes 4444 format, really hard to say, but it did not have the ability to have both the sound and the alpha channel. Ecamm updated us to Ecamm Live 3.8 and 3.8 brought the ability to use a WebM file. WebM graphic format has the ability to have both the alpha channel and the sound. I'm gonna show you the difference real quick and then I'm gonna teach you how to make very simply WebM files. Now you can use whatever you wanna to use to generate your transparent movie files. If you're unfamiliar with that and you wanna see a tutorial, please let me know in the description and I will teach you how to make them as well. But today I'm just gonna show you how to do the conversion to WebM, simple and easy using the Mac. Now, you don't need Adobe Premiere Pro, you don't need After Effects, just a simple little tool that you can download for free and I'll put the link in the description and I'll show you how to do it. I'm Doc Rock, your content creation coach, let's dive in. In the past, here in Ecamm, if I were to drag on a movie like such, it will give me the opportunity to select it as an animated overlay or as full screen with audio. First, we'll select full screen with audio. Way too big, I can't size it, it's not what I wanted, and it just doesn't work. The other option is to drag it in here and get animated overlay. So now, here's my file, here's my overlay, but you notice there's no sound. The sound gets chopped off, same exact file. Okay, now, let me show you a little magic. That, my friends, is a WebM file. It kept the transparency, but it added audio. Let me show you how to make one of these. Here we are on my desktop and you'll see my transparent movie file with the sound. Let me play it so you can hear it. All you need is this program here called Shutter Encoder. So you're gonna drag your file into this window here. It loads the file. Next, we're gonna come down and make a couple minor adjustments that I want you to see. On the choose function, you have to absolutely make sure that it is set for VP9, that's crucial. You also have to make sure that the extension is set for WebM, also crucial. The only other setting that matters is that you have enable alpha channel turned on. Now, personally, I choose two pass and max quality, but that's up to you. Once those things are done, all you need to do is press start function. Now for me, normally this takes roughly about 30 to 45 seconds. It really depends on how long your movie file is, how many things you have spiraling, and what else you're running in the background. I still have Final Cut open and I am moving like 305 gigs of data across my network, so it might take a little bit longer, but it is a relatively quick process. Now again, the Shutter Encoder program, I have the link in the description. All you need to do is click that and download it. It is a free program. When you go there, you'll see free press donate, or you can just back it up and put it to free. But I'm definitely donating to this one because this is a lot easier than doing it in Adobe Media Encoder or doing it with Premiere or After Effects. As you can see, my window just popped open, which means my movie file is here. So this is the web webin file that we're gonna load into our scene. Here we are back in Ecamm. I've basically dragged that file into this overlay panel. Now, of course, you can drag it to the middle, drag it to the overlay panel. How you do it is up to you. When the file plays, it basically looks like this. See, wasn't that easy? You create an Alpha ProRes 444 file with sound, run it through Shutter Encoder, and you have the perfect WebM experience. Again, way easier than doing it in, say, After Effects or Premiere, and there's a couple web utilities that will convert them for you, like Aconvert, but I don't like using really weird web tools like that, so I find this to be one of the easiest ways out there. Again, I'll put the link to this in the description, 
And if you like this video, press the like button, press the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss another video. Now again, if you need to know how to make transparent overlays, you wanna try something, let me know and I'll be more than happy to create videos for that. Just drop me a line in the comments and we'll get after it. Now watch the video that comes up on screen next.